Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video of infotainment under the playlist of smart minds. Well, in this video, we'll see a basic feature of any mail. Uh, but for this video, we're taking example of Gmail. That is what exactly CC or BCC means in, a, in an email. Many of my friends and subscribers asked me to make a video on what exactly is CC and BCC in a mail. Well, it seems to be very simple, but many people might not even know what exactly it means and how to use it. So in this video, we'll try to explain what exactly are these things and what it means and where we should use and how to use that. I'll show you practically in the laptop by demonstrating it in front of you. Well, coming to CC, it is called carbon copy and BCC as blind carbon copy. I'll tell you in the mail how to use it and where to use it as well and what are the email etiquettes to use BCC as well as CC. So let's go to the laptop. Well, as you can see, uh, this is the Gmail I have opened. In this Gmail, if I start or click on this compose, once I do that, you can see this window opens up. I'll just maximize it. So in this window, we can see there's something called a two where you write the recipient mail ID or the person whom you want to send the mail. Here it is subject and by default, the CC and BCC is not available. You have to click here, CC. I'll click BCC as well. As I said you before, that CC means carbon copy. Uh, especially this is used to send mail to those person which, uh, whom you want that the mail content should be known to them. They need not do any or take any action based on your mail, but it is good to inform them. Maybe your reporting officer, maybe your uh, team members, not directly addressed to that person. And here the two means directly we are addressing to those persons who should take the action or who should act on this mail once it is sent to them. For example, I sent to CS a friend. Fine. So this is the exact person. For example, his name is KS SAH. So he should do the action. For example, the action may be uh, please uh, book a ticket. Ticket for Delhi. For example, this is the action he has to take. And by CC, I could mean that a person who is my boss, who should know that I have instructed Mr. SKSSH to book a ticket. It may be, for example, ROJA INFY at the red Gmail. Roja Infi is my boss who should know that I have asked Mr. SKSSH 789 to book a ticket for me. Uh, and maybe the subject line is same. Please don't go into this uh, description of mail and how I write the subject because it is only for this video. Uh, for that thing, I'll uh, prepare or make a separate video how to exactly write a mail, how, what are the salutations and all these things. The real thing, uh, which many people don't understand, that is called BCC. BCC is a thing that is called blind carbon copy. So here, the person or the email ID, what, what I write in this tab, the mail will go to them the person who are addressed in 2 uh, or the person who is or who are addressed in CC will not be knowing about the person who are in this BCC. So for example, in BCC, I would like to put a mail ID that is SAM. For example, this is the email ID which I want to put it in BCC. So when I send this mail, what will happen? This mail will go to, for example, let me send it. So once I do that, you can see the mail has been sent. Uh, so here I will check my other recipients, for example, SKSSH 789, the direct person. So as you can see, a new mail has come. Please book a ticket for daily regards and uh, the recipients. You can see it has been sent to, of course, SKSSH. This is the current mail of SKSSH 789. Of course, we can see the CC here, Rosa Infi at the gmail.com, but I cannot see BCC. The same thing if I open Rosa Infi, please book a ticket for Delhi. You can see the same thing. It has been addressed to SKSSH CC Rosa Infi. I'll come back to the original mail. Well, as you can see, the mail has gone to SKSSH who should take the direct action CC to Rosa Infi and BCC. Well, here I just want to make it clear that why at all 
I need a BCC here. Okay, or what are the etiquettes of sending a mail to BCC? Will it be good for people? Uh, for example, if uh, your friend is in two, your friend two is in CC, but another friend three is in BCC, and your friend one sends all these kinds of mail. Will it be good for friend two or three to be sent a mail where the friend four? who is already in BCC knows all of the talking or all of the content of this mail. It won't be good actually. Well, the mail etiquette says BCC should only be sent for hiding or for protecting the mail IDs and not for simply sending to somebody uh, without informing the two person or CC person. As per etiquette, you should not send a BCC where the two and CC person doesn't know that who is that BCC person. You can write that the person name is Samvega Enterprise. You need not disclose his mail, but it's the etiquette says that you should write that BCC is sent to Samvega Enterprise, which need not be his mail ID, maybe his name only. Uh, many times it happens that since they are big people, many spam mail comes to them or many uh, mails for favor also might come to them, which they may not like uh, receiving. And the one important thing in BCC is that whenever, uh, for example, this mail has started, in BCC, there is one important person like a big uh, CEO of the company. Communication goes on like uh, the two person again sends a reply all mail that yes, I have booked the ticket. You may please collect the ticket from this, this, this or whatever. So whenever the two person again replies all to all people, the BCC person will not get the reply all mail. That is the Samvega Enterprise will not get any reply mail. So the BCC person will not get any uh, like a further chain of mails that may disturb that important person who did not know all the things beyond the first mail. So friends, I hope you knew what are the uh, etiquettes and what are the functions of uh, CC and BCC when you use it in your Gmail or for that matter, any other email. Let us recap it once again. When you send a two mail, as I've shown you here, when you send two mail, it directly goes to the person who is concerned uh, or who is the person who should take action based on that mail. And CC, CC should go to that person who, who, who should know that content of the mail. He, he or she need not take action based on that mail, but it is good for him to know that he should be informed. He did not take the action. And BCC, BCC is for persons whose email ID need to be, needs to be protected. Maybe your super boss, maybe the CEO of a company, maybe anybody uh, whom you want uh, whose email ID you want to be protected. But it's a customary etiquette in email that the BCC thing should be written in that mail itself, like BCC is sent to this and this person. And one more thing that all the reply all mails or after the main email, when there's a chain of mails like forwarding, reply all, all the things, this won't come to the BCC person and uh, it won't disturb that BCC person who did not know all the chain of mails later. We should only know the main email. So friends, that's it in this video. I hope uh, uh, since it's a technical channel, but I've also added the etiquette part also of email. I hope this video uh, would prove to be very useful for all of you. If you found this video useful, please like this video and share this video across various platforms so that many people come to know of this thing on CC and BCC. Although as easy and simple it may seem, but many people may not perhaps know this thing. So please share this across various platform and please do subscribe to this channel infotainment to get more of such little little technical videos to make your digital life simpler and easier. So till our next video, keep watching infotainment. See you again. See you soon. Thank you.